Mark chapter 10 verses 17 to 30. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? Call me good? No one is good, but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, as I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him, and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, then come, follow me. At that statement his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around, and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So, Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. Peter began to say to him, We have given up everything, and followed you. Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, there is no one who has given up house, or brothers, or sisters, or mother, or father, or children, or lands, for my sake, and for the sake of the gospel who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age, houses, and brothers, and sisters, and others, and children and lands, with persecutions, and eternal life in the age to come. The rich man wanted to be sure he would qualify for eternal life, so he asked what he could do to be certain. It's hard to believe but he said he'd never once broken any of the laws Jesus mentioned. Maybe he had even kept the Pharisees' loophole-filled version of the laws. One day I was watching an ant trying to leave my home while carrying a large piece of food. The food was too large to fit through the exit hole, next to the door. How much weight can an ant carry? According to different estimates, ants can carry 10 to 50 times their body weight. Unlike the ant we can exercise reason and logic. Both tell us to drop the load, and move a portion of the food a little at a time, but if the first ant did that, another ant might steal the remaining load and celebrate in his pride of accomplishment. Our rich young man was worried about the same issues, power, wealth, pride, and prestige in the eyes of his, associate, his associates. Our rich young man had forgotten what was most important in his life, and it wasn't materialism. What is important? Give first place to God in our everyday life. Obey his commandments and follow his ways. If we put our trust in perishable things we will, at some point, be disappointed. Dead, if we put our trust and faith in God we will be rewarded with true joy and happiness that nobody can take away. Again, if we obey his commandments and follow his ways, we have nothing to fear. Jesus tenderly exposed the man's pride with a challenge that brought out his true motives, go and sell all you have and give the money to the poor. This challenge revealed the barrier that might keep this man out of the kingdom, his love of money. Unluckily, his attitude made him unable to keep the first commandment, to let nothing be more important than God. Money represented the pride he took in his accomplishments and work. He couldn't meet the one requirement Jesus gave him, to turn his heart, his whole soul, over to God. The rich man came to Jesus wondering what he could do to assure his salvation and heavenly reward. He left after grappling with what he was presently unwilling to do. Can the rich get into heaven? Sure they can, Jesus is pointing out having money is nice, a gift from God, but it is what you do with the money that is important. If you use it to benefit others, as well as yourself, then you are being a faithful steward of God's gifts. Share what you have with others.